Hello and welcome to 9design 3D. Today I will show you how I made this motorcycle riding chill animation on the blender. Let's go to the tutorial. We have to download some motorcycle from the Sketchfab. I will show you how we downloaded this add-on and you can go from their top right card. Let's look at this Arley Davidson model. I will download this model. I want a one camera angle from the front side. Look like the, maybe you should see some Instagram reels with the chill riding I will make real type cinematic so actually I am looking dashboard and the driver parts for the cinematic thanks to Alex K for this model we will download it go to blender and import model it will came in here like that first we have to separate this motorcycles parts especially wheels and body I will make it this three parts front wheel back wheel and body for this press tab to edit mode and go to vertex mode with the one and choose the vertex press l and p for separation z to wireframe you can uh, deselect with the holding control your other vertices from the back part you see from the front wheel part is connected from the back now you can press Ctrl and deselect this. Our back wheel is separated now. You can change its name. Front wheel is separated too. Choose your front part of it and rotate a bit in Y and Z axis. We need some rider model. I downloaded this character from the Mixamo. You can choose different type of character. If you want, you can make some sci-fi things with the motorcycle. I will download this red clothed character. Press download with the FBX, with skin 30 FPS and download this as a T-pose. Press M to move your motorcycle to the collection and H then press H to hide file import import your FBX before all of this please go to the Mixamo add-on for blender get add-on after download this zip file go to edit preferences and press install choose your add-on folder and check this little tick in here press n and open right menu you can see the mixama control rig choose your character's armature and as a source skeleton and press create control rig it will look like that go to pose mode with choosing this you can rotate or G to move your helper rigid tools as your circles and boxes you can move them or you can rotate them. It's really easy adding some easy rigifying for your character. Now we will make seat or rider or the motorcycle. G to move them together with the rig. Go to pose mode again with choosing the rigify. Choose characters, legs and foot and move them to the true position. And make sitting. With the top view, for hand boxes, you can move them, G to move, after that you can rotate them. With the spheres, you can put the arms down. If you need these fingers rigs, you can rotate or G to move them for the holding. Choose your character and rig in. Add them to a collection. Now let's make some road. First we will add some plane. Scale and place them. I downloaded this road material from the mblcg.com with the 2k I will add it as a road add new material road asphalt go to shading tab 
with press principal BSTF, Ctrl Shift T for Node Wrangler and choose your maps. If it's not open with the Ctrl Shift T, go to Edit Preferences, Add ons and write Node Wrangler and check it. As you see, our road material will look like that. Set your camera which type of position you want. If the rider is causing problem to the camera, the pose mode, you can tie up it again. With the walk navigation, I will get a one angle cinematic, so I'm leaving my camera like that. I shift it to duplicate for the side part of the road and add an array to this. Hide all of it. Now we will make highway metal barrier. Add the plane and scale this. Add two loop cuts. Activate the proportional edit. With the middle mouse button, you can decrease it. I'm moving Z axis. Choose side vertices together and merge them at center. Ctrl B to bevel which edge you want to smooth. Don't forget the shade smooth and auto smooth. Let's add some circle other parts of our metal barrier. In tab to edit mode, you can E to extrude and after fill B to bevel. Shift it to duplicate where you want, you can put them. First, we will make the big guide parts to this. Again, we will add a plane, E to extrude in Y axis, Ctrl A, all transform, set origin to geometry for back inset, I to inset, E to extrude again, E to extrude right click and S to scale. We made our shape as a simple. Let's add some galvanized material, increase Metallic, and if you want, you can make a bit darker and decrease a bit roughness for metallic shiny. Alt H to unhide all your seam parts. Add an array modifier to this. Set 0 in X and set your value in Y. I will leave a bit space between them. You can increase your count. For the road, Ctrl A all transform set origin to geometry. Make same thing for the rails. Now we will add a mirror modifier. Choose as an object your road. Our road is ready now. I will H hide them again. Go to Edit Preferences and open your landscape add-on. Shift A and add the landscape. I will download this for the making side of the roads. It's not important, they are similar or different from each other because we will add forest here too. But as a noise type, you can change random seats, noise types or which shape you want. We will add some textures on it and place it near of the road. You can scale them in a Z axis. For this, I downloaded some ground materials from the mbncg.com as a 2K. And with the same method, I'm adding a material in the shading tab, pressing Ctrl Shift T. I'm getting my maps. It looks weird. Now tap to edit mode, U, 
and Smart UV project. In the UV Edit tab, you can scale or place differently. For example, I will scale a bit. You can Shift D to duplicate this. If you want to change this material, press New Material part of it and delete this map. Again with the same method, Ctrl Shift D and add other materials maps. It looks a bit light for me, so I downloaded some terrain texture from the Polyhaven. As a 2K, I will download this and will use. I will add some different height for the landscapes, side of the roads, like a bit little hills. It's not important they are same or not because we will add forest and some trees, bushes around them. After filling my scene with them, I will add a sky texture to this because I want to see how my scene will be look like. First, add the sky texture. Connect color to color. You can change your sun elevation for the evening or sunset making. Set your sun rotation where you want. If you want to see your sun along the road, you can rotate it. With the changing air, dust and ozone values, you can make your full sunset look. Let's add some forest near of our roads. Under the Blender Kit, add your low poly forest in here. Choose it under the particle system. You can change your number, seeds, hair length or segments. You can shift it to duplicate this forest and press new particle system, this file icon and now you can change it separately. Maybe you want to make taller trees to the left, you can set it. On the blender kit you can download some bush, drag and drop it. If it's too heavy, you can add decimate modifier, but don't lose detail, take care of it. It will look like in the cycle scene. And shift it to duplicate, rotate, put near of the roads. After all of that, let's add some clouds, little, little clouds. Shift D to duplicate your background node and add shader. Connect them with first shader and second shader. After that, as a moss gray texture. Connect height to color. You can see it look a bit weird and fluffy. Change your scale first. After that, set your detail as a 10 and change dimension. Set your background strength and add a color ramp for to this. Which color you want, you can make your clothes. For the details, you can set your mouse gray values. Now, for this animation, add an empty cube. Choose your character's rigging, character, motor body and wheels and front part of it. Last selection, press empty. It will be yellowish. Ctrl P and object keep transform. You can see when I move the cube, all the parts are moving. Let's set some keyframe. Don't forget to check XYZ Euler and as a rotation, give some value to the X. Set your var and choose your empty for the front wheel. Now you can see when you move it in the right axis, it's turning. And make same thing for the back. Give an X value rotation, add driver. 
as you can see front and back wheels are rotating with it if you get some scene from the only helmet camera you don't need to add some drivers but maybe you want some wheel camera angle you can add it press your camera and last selection empty ctrl p keep transform if you want to get some render from the ev don't forget to check ambient occlusion bloom and screen space refraction i will get a cycle render in here press your cube and i to insert location rotation scale and move your cube along the x-axis go to last game frame on the k frame bar don't forget it and i to insert again location rotation scale when you press space you can see how will it look like in the cycle engine it will be a bit laggy but in here it shows us like that you can check your road sides to different frame as a render image it will look like that but we will get an animation go to output settings and choose your file for the output and set your format ffmpeg the encoding mpeg4 you can press now for this render animation thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe see you later in other tutorial